everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with another cigar pairing. And today we have a great pairing. We have the Frasia. And then we have Angel's Envy, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Let's get this pairing started and I'll see you later on once this, this cigar is almost done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with the Freya and the Angel's Envy straight Kentucky bourbon. Before I get started with the score, let me tell you a little bit about this cigar and this straight Kentucky bourbon. My distilled spirit. All right, this cigar is, again, the Freya. That is from the Las Cumbres Tobacco Company, and it's headed by Emma Borkerson. Emma Borkerson is one of the very few women that's in the cigar industry producing cigars. It's a full body cigar. It has a Dominican Corojo wrapper with a Mexican San Andreas uh, binder, and the filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan uh, filler. We'll make, that will make a definitely a strong cigar, and it truly is. The flavors you're gonna get from this, you'll have, number one, you're gonna have a strong uh, leather, leathery flavor, leathery notes. You're gonna have nuttiness, spices. Spices are more so, if you're trying to understand, when people say spices, they're talking about like a cinnamon, uh, allspice, uh, nutmeg type note. That's what, they're, that's what I'm explaining, and that's what they're explaining when it comes to spices. You're gonna have also um, caramel and a citrus notes. Now, as far as the Angel's Envy, I didn't mention, this is not the regular Angel's Envy. This is the barrel port finished. Oh. Now, with the Angel's Envy, this is not the regular Angel's Envy. This is the port barrel finished Angel's Envy, and that really, puts it over and makes it spectacular, I think. The flavors you're gonna get from that are vanilla, ripe fruit, pear, and apple. That's the ripe fruit. You're gonna have maple syrup and a bitter chocolate, of course, a port finish. As you saw, I added a water to, the, to my um, distilled spirit right here. And that is because this particular one has 43% alcohol. Anything over 40%, I always add water. And for pretty much all my Kentucky straight bourbons and bourbons in general, I add water to open up the, the, uh, the flavors. So let's talk about the score. The score is a 94. The 94, a 90 is a perfect pairing. A 94 is a spectacular perfect pairing, but right before 95. That 95 threshold is when you have brand new flavors when the two are put together. This time I don't have new flavors, but the amplification is second to none. In the first third, the cigar was okay, but not until really the second third. The second third that this cigar really opened up and the flavors really started to become apparent. And that's when I knew I had a perfect pairing also. Um, that Angel's Envy is the reason why I have a perfect pairing here. The, Angel, the Angel's Envy is, if I could associate it with something different or give you a, a little bit of analogy, the Angel's Envy is a great player. A, great, a good player performs well. A great player performs well and makes others around them so much better, and it made this cigar so much better. Don't get me wrong, this is a fine cigar. I, I, I uh, highly recommend it, but I definitely recommend this Angel's Envy. This Angel's Envy, I definitely feel that one day, coming soon, I'm going to pair it with another uh, cigar, and it's gonna be great again. Now with this pairing, a lot of times it matters which 
which uh, you, you have first. You have the uh, alcohol first, you have the cigar first. And this particular one definitely had take sips of this distilled spirit first. Then you take a good draw and let that slowly bellow out of your mouth. And that makes it a great, great pairing. I am really happy I was able to pair these two and I was pleasantly surprised how good this pairing was. Again, a 94 score and I highly recommend both of these, but the Angel's Envy, I recommend a little bit more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this, this video. I hope you like this pairing. Go out and try this pairing and definitely get, get some Angel's Envy port barrel finish. If you like this video, make sure you uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and share. And if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Charles Wallingford. This is how I spent my money.